several artists are claiming that people are using AI art generators to steal their art. And in these examples, this is true, but this could have easily been done in Photoshop as well. It just would have taken a bit longer. If such alterations were done in Photoshop, few would claim that Photoshop was an unethical program for enabling such use. But many people are claiming that AI art generators are unethical for these very same reasons. Rather, this is a clear unethical use of the program, and we should blame the user, not the tool. The lie that is being perpetrated in these examples are this. By saying nothing but that these modified versions of their images were made with AI, they imply they were made through the primary method of AI image generation, auto-generated through text-to-image, and in doing this that the developers of the AI must have stolen their artwork and stored it within the AI without their consent, which the AI program is now copying to get this result. And that AI art generators in their standard use of text-to-image regularly produce images that copy the artworks it was trained on to the same level as demonstrated in their examples. This could not be further from the truth because these images were clearly made through image-to-image -image where the user needs to input the images manually into the AI to then modify, just like you can do with Photoshop. It is a person using the AI image generator to copy, not an inherent function of the technology. No images are stored in the models that the AI programs use to generate art. Millions of images were used to train these primary models of these image generating AIs, and yet the final file size of these models only end up being a couple of gig. If it kept every single image that was used to train it in a reference folder, these files would be terabytes in size. They are trained by diffusing an image into static and then reversing the process to record the path the static took to become an image. By repeating this many times with different seeds of static and millions of images, the AI learns how to use these same paths with random seeds of noise or static to diffuse them into a new image. Text prompts guiding the program to use those patterns or paths that produce what the text is asking for, such as a person or object or scene. The images used to train the AI this way are not stored, but the paths and patterns it learns in this diffusion process are. Therefore, the training process does not infringe on anyone's copyrights because the images are not being stored, copied, or distributed in the resulting models that are made. Anyone can try and get an AI image generator to copy an artwork that was used in the training process of the model the AI is using. But because that image is not stored within the model, only the patterns that arose in diffusing those images back and forth from static, with millions of other patterns, the resulting images will never be a one-to-one -one duplication. It's impossible unless specifically forced to do so by the user with a model trained for that purpose or through image to image. Users can manually input an image into the AI image generator for the intent and purpose of modifying it, just like anyone can do with Photoshop. The level of change will determine if the use could be considered fair, as in fair use under the law. The examples artists have shown of supposed theft through AI image generators sometimes demonstrate very few changes to the original which do indeed breach their copyright if the copied images were distributed. An online publication is a type of distribution but other times there has been enough transformation from the original artwork that a fair use defense could easily be validated in court. It depends on the level of transformative use. And AI image generating programs do not inherently copy or steal other artists' individual artwork or images as part of its core standard function when generating new images from static unless specifically operated to do so by the one using the program.